In my opinion, in order to meet the demands of a 21st century learner, we need to change the way that we teach. We need to approach it in a different way than traditionally we were taught. We live in a globalized world, and we need to be able to solve problems, big problems, and we've seen these problems during COVID. A lesson learned from this pandemic is that individuals and our students need to be more than consumers of technology. They need to be innovative and flexible creators, able to learn from and communicate their learning in a digital world. The reality is, is that in the 21st century classroom, our learners are diverse. As a learning support teacher, I need to always be looking through the lens of universal design for learning. That means that I need to break down those barriers that are sometimes in the way of learners who have difficulty accessing the curriculum. So I always need to think about choice and allowing students to show their learning through multiple representations. A fundamental principle of UDL is that we as teachers, when we are planning instruction, our aim is to reduce barriers for our students and to increase access to learning. And we must always keep in mind that our students can face linguistic barriers. In school, the way of conveying ideas is through words. A teacher walks up to the board, writes words, says words, students receive books with words, and are expected to respond to questions with words. The vast majority of teaching is done through words. But let's look at who we're trying to teach. Focusing on California, 25% of students are English language learners. Another 15% have language-based learning difficulties, such as dyslexia. An additional 20% fail language comprehension tests. And a large portion of the remaining students characterize themselves as visual learners. Left over, there's only a tiny little segment of students for whom current teaching methods are a good fit. And I was one of those students way down there. The purpose of my project is to use gamification as a means to motivate students, a way to alleviate anxiety through a safe fail system, and to reframe content as a way to deepen students' understanding. Even though most curriculum content can be gamified, my objective is to support math vocabulary among struggling learners. I am transforming my pedagogy because I believe gamification holds the promise of being culturally responsive and inclusive to the diversity in 21st century classrooms. Digital storytelling harnesses the power of educational technology and can aid oral language development. It is one way educators can support students who are linguistically diverse. Research has shown the value in building a robust understanding and use of language, linking it to later successes. As co-creators of content, we can support our students' language development and at the same time, foster the skills necessary for 21st century learners, collaboration, creativity, and communication. <laughs>